Tottenham hadn't started so well, would Chelsea fans be more patient? Yes. So looking at Spurs, and of course, I'm as a United fan, I look at Spurs and it's like, oh my God. So, of course, like with the rivalry and everything, and you know, you've had the same manager previously, of course, there's going to be comparisons. But if Spurs started off rubbish, if Arsenal started off rubbish, there'd be way less kind of hype. And I think it's four games in. Like, how can you make this judgment? This is what I'm saying. I, I fully agree with what you guys are saying. And if Poch stuck to his principles, I would literally be saying what you're saying right now, Han. But he he isn't. He's making the job harder for himself. None of you guys would have it mm. if he played. If he plays Zinchenko left wing, Rory would be here not having it. Yeah. If, if if he played Shaw left wing, you guys would not be having it. If he played Mason Mount doesn't work in the pivot, you guys aren't having it. Gallagher doesn't work in the pivot. I, I so understand I that. I understand, I understand that. But again, the, the the conversation is people asking for him to be sacked, and for me. That's weird. It's just, it's just far too yeah. early. So I understand yeah. what they're disgruntled at, but that doesn't excuse wanting him out after yeah. four matches. And Poch is actually doing something. And I'm not Poch's biggest fan, but Poch is doing mm. something that's never been done before, as far as I can see in the history of English football. I've never seen this turnover of players join a squad one summer. A lot of them leave the following year and even more come in. The policy be don't buy anybody over the age of 25. Also, at the same time, having the worst season in about three decades and being told, there you go, fix it. To even, to be disgruntled in an issue, I want us to do better. But to be potch out when he's trying to fix that mess, mm -hmm. it's just, it, it, no one's going to fix this. I can guarantee well, you, Terry, yes, the managers might yeah. have had you playing better football to begin with, but there's going to be peaks and troughs. I go back 10 years ago when David Moyes took over and we didn't start very well. And Everton did. And Everton looked really good. And then we just look how much better Everton are with Roberto Martinez. But look, we're getting worse under David Moyes. Oh, we should have, we should have got, we should have got Martinez. He's a much better manager. If Everton had had a bad season, I think the pressure would have been less on Moyes. Even though it was, I think what happened is the pressure started getting exponentially worse because Everton got better after Moyes left, and we got worse. And those two things, correlation, causation, they don't, mm. they're not always caused by the same thing. And you saw this extra pressure hyped up, and I see Chelsea fans doing that now when they look mm. at other teams. Well, they've got better straight away. Well, that's because there's more pressure on Chelsea, in my opinion, than there is Tottenham because of what you've spent, and your players are feeling that pressure. Your manager's feeling it. Sometimes criticism's needed, but there is actually a time when. Fans should do what their job is and show support, criticize, mm -hmm. but still be supportive. I think we do this. For, I, I criticize my club, but you've got to show support. They need it. Yeah. This notion that this notion that if you listen, Lee Gunnar always talks about how like the Madrid fan base can be toxic. They can be, but most of the time they're amazing. It's a, it's a balance. Mm -hmm. Some people are just angry all the time. How do you think that's going to help your team? I, I think people yeah. are going far too far with wanting Poch. They, 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 are, they are going they, they're going too far, and I completely agree with what you're saying, but Terry, I have to dis disagree with the point that um, when you said Poch is trying to fix things. It, it, it seems like he's trying to mess things up. Like I've said, it's self-sabotage okay, no, okay. what he's doing so right now. You're talking about his system. He, so you don't think Poch is trying to fix the mess that you guys were in last year? No, he's not. He was fixing it in pre-season, but right now he's not fixing it by playing Ben Chilwell there okay, and playing so Gallagher he's in the pivot. Failing at it fixing work. It, but you, hang on. So he's failing at fixing it, but you don't think he's trying to make you better? I think I think he, he's got the capabilities to make us better, but right now he's not showing it. He's not showing yes. it. But do you think he's trying to make you better? At the moment, no. I'll be honest with you, no. So you think Poch is actively trying Sabotage. to make you better? No, he's no, I don't, think, I don't think I don't think he's I don't think he's purposely sabotaging us. But what I'm saying is it feels like self-sabotage. It feels like self-sabotage. Because he's the one that's deciding to play these players in those positions. But you're he's deciding to do that. You're assuming, Don, that like because you were happy with preseason performances, that he was happy with them, and you're saying that he's like breaking something that was mm -hmm. that was fixed. But I, some semi decent performances in preseason, like that, doesn't mean it was it was the finished article and that, that and that that was good. So maybe he has seen that there were weaknesses there, and he feels like in the Premier League he needs to address them. I have to disagree, man, because this guy played Matson on the wing um, and, and Matson scored two goals from the left. He got an assist from the right-hand side. He's a better option to play on the wing. If you want to play someone on the wing, play him. Don't play Ben Chilwell. I'm sorry. There's no excuses for that. No excuses. I'm not hearing nothing about that. You're contradicting yourself because, mm. like, di did you say this after they won 3-0 when they were on the same lineup? Like, these are all players that were involved in that I said game. it. I said it. I said that we were more clinical in front of goal, but I said overall I wasn't happy with it. I even said it. Me and Andrew, when we were speaking um, on, after the match reaction, I 
said that was probably the worst performance that we've had so far. Andrew was like, no, I think West Ham was worse. I said, no, I think Luton was worse, to be honest. I haven't been happy with the overall no. performances. I but, knew this was going to come again. But then you get Don't. back to the root issue. Yeah. You get back to the root issue, which was what we criticised about the transfer policy. You didn't buy enough experienced players. You need more experience in that side. Your solution is to take out the, the experience in that side and put in youthful players, which is then going to put in even quality. more... But I'm it, putting it, in quality. Again, you've okay, been brought right. in to play young... You've, you've, Poch has been brought in purposely, right, to develop these young players, OK? The young players mm-hmm. that we've got right now have have a level of quality. Matson was playing with Burnley last season, right, in the Championship. They tried to buy him at the start of the season. They wanted to buy mm-hmm. him again. He decided to stay at Chelsea. Why do you keep persisting with players that aren't playing well? Why? It don't, doesn't make any don't, sense. Don't, I don't, don't care about don't. the age factor right now. Don't. It is what it is but, right but, now. But, but the age factor is important, though, because when you're trying to manage a tumultuous situation you need heads that are able to withstand the media outlay which stand the pressure that the media put on because guess what there's an awful lot of pressure on this chelsea team at the minute there's an awful lot of expectation and there's an awful lot of criticism because they rightfully haven't started the season well now, so basically you Tom, think... we should keep playing Benchu or left wing because he's experienced that's what you're saying then no, I'm saying that your solution shouldn't be to get rid of all the experienced players in the squad your solution should be to let it play out let Poch figure it out what his plan is. Maybe Chilwell isn't the long-term solution, but he's waiting for the situation to calm down more before he puts in an Ian Matson. He's waiting for he's waiting for okay. the, the likes of, for, for your midfield to be more settled in. Like Romeo Lavia, let's, let's discuss right. him. <laughs> let, let's discuss right. He's not even made a match day squad yet. Sixteen million pounds, not even made a match day squad. Maybe the plan is to let everything else get more settled before he brings in these young players, which have a bigger element of risk. Like you said, Ian Matson had a good season in the championship. The championship, it is a big, it is a massive jump up. It, 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 from it doesn't the championship matter. Poch came, to the Premier League came out, at Chelsea. Poch, Poch came out. Poch came out and said he wanted to keep this guy. He believes in this guy. He, like I said, he was playing him in preseason. Okay, don't waste the guy's time. Don't say you want to keep him and do all of these things and then play someone that can't play in that role ahead of him. It doesn't make any sense. So, like, so I'm not defending. So, I'm not. There's nothing. No, no, but there's nothing I can say to defend. He's, he's counteracted himself, though. He's counteracted himself because yes, he might well, have said, "Oh, I want to keep him," but then hmm. why are you accepting bids? No, that was the club that accepted the bids. That was the club. That wasn't Poch. So, so, Poch so, has so, no so, say so, you're, so you're That's telling me Maurizio Pochettino said no, yeah. and the club went, "Oh no, we're going above your head." That's a big yeah, issue with itself. That's then. an issue. Yeah, but he's straight profit on the books because he's straight out of the academy. So no, that's not an issue, though. That's that. still an... Dodd, the, the, the original question came in for you was like, call out your owners. If your owners are selling mm. people over your manager's head, that's a problem. Yeah, that is a problem. That is. It's a big problem. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, do you know what I think we... that you're doing here, Don? Sorry to interject. Mm. I, mm. Man United fans are guilty of this in the minute. I was in a space earlier where it went on. I think people take what managers say in press conferences too literally. Like, I don't actually believe that Arteta takes that many routes to work. I think it was a hypothetical example. But people, I honestly believe the work, I don't know whether it's schooling of younger people, different from my, people have lost their minds. They, they are taking things in press conferences seriously. I actually don't understand why any human being watches them. All I, all I look, look for is who's injured, who's not. It's the only bit that's important. The rest of it is they're asked, the media, you've got to remember, the media are asking questions to try and create stories. So the managers just give, generally speaking, bland, PR-written answers. That are yet, basically, yes, I love everybody. Everybody is great. Nothing to see here. Please go home. They, 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 do you know what I'm saying? So, yes, he may have said, I'm happy with this guy or I like this person in that position. But we don't know what's going on in training. We don't know who's really performing well. We don't really know who's working hard, who gets up late, who misbehaves. None of us know this. And every now and then, a story comes out. The irony of me saying this, we're coming on to Sancho later in the show. But Arsenal went through this with Aubameyang. Why is, he being, why is this not happening? Why is this going on? Why is he being moved there? Why is he not starting? And then it all came out. Then the problems emerged. And I, I'm not saying you've got that. It may be something else. But I've had this conversation with Lee many times in recent weeks. It, going to the straight to the conclusion of... The manager is, is sabotaging us. He's lied that he likes his player because he's not playing is the reason. Like these managers are d- 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 dumb. That's, I just think that's, that's what it feels that, like. Look, that conclusion with logic straight away. Maybe, no, no, the no, players no. You, maybe the players you want in those positions ain't pulling their weight at training. Are not I'm following sorry, the instructions. There, there's, maybe, there's, there, could be, there could be 110 reasons. And the only thing I would say is this. why? And it's a question on the statement. Why is the, the instant reaction always self-sabotage? Manager doesn't know what he's doing. Why is he picking shit players? He's, he's stupid. He's done it four games in a row. 
He has done it four okay, games but why in a does that, but, but why does that mean he's dumb as opposed to other players not pulling their weight? Because it's not example. working. Because it's not working, Terry. Okay, You've got so, other yes, options. Yes, I'm, you, a, you, I'm a fan, just, yeah. Let me ask what? you a question. I'm not saying what? this is going on. It's a hypothetical question. Mm. Would you put? A, would you pick a player and put him into a team if mm. his behaviour or his application in training isn't good enough? Would you put him in even if the people ahead of him are failing? But now, now we're just speculating, though. No, no, like, I'm, but I'm, again, but you're speculating as to why the manager is making these mistakes. We're all speculating. Mm. I'm trying to give you a hypothetical scenario. Would you do mm. that? Well, you wouldn't, no. You wouldn't. Yeah, so this is why I'm saying give pot, criticize little things, but people are going so far over the top with their criticism four games in. We, you have no idea what's, what's going on. Players are still being tested. More patience is needed. Four, like, I get two, three, four years, but four games... Fuck my boots. I've never seen anything. And, and that, the last that I time I saw with. something, the last time I saw something as premature of this, I was watching American Pie and Jim Splash is loaded in seconds. The last Listen, time I saw something as premature as that. I agree with you 100%. No one should be saying Poch out. All it is is Poch needs to fix up and revert back to basics. We don't want to see no Ben Chua or left wing anymore. That's mm. it. We're not asking for I, too much. Done. We're not I'd say, too much. in terms of your like, <laughs> not obsession with youth, but in terms of wanting to play all of the young players and just based on talent and ignoring experience and all the rest of it. Look at, as an example, look at the way Kovacic has settled in at City. Look at the way Rice has settled in. Look at the way Madison settled in. Compared to Caicedo, who's much younger, everyone ag agrees the talent is there with Caicedo, but he looks like a fish out of water at Chelsea at the moment. If you have seven or eight players on the pitch who are all that young, who have never really played with each other before, have never experienced this level and the pressure that comes with playing for Chelsea, you could genuinely, you could, you could get battered six or seven nil against a big team. And that, for those kids, would be absolute hell. So I do think Pochettino has to try and balance the squad with that sort of experience. You cannot just throw in every kid because they look talented in other games. No problem. So play Ben Chiu or left back and play an actual attacker in his position. It's as simple as that. No one's disagreeing with what you're saying, Rory. But end of the day, this is the reality of the situation. There's a lot of young players. Poch has been specifically brought in to develop and play these young players. We can't run away from it. We can speak about it all day. Chelsea should have bought experience. Yes, we know that. But end of the day, he's working with young players right now. Play them. Do you get it? If you want to play Ben Chiu or play him at left back, that's literally it. I'm not asking for too much. We're not asking for too much. If he was getting results, cool, fair enough. But it's clearly not working and he keeps persisting with it. It doesn't make any sense. I 